recently received an email from Monica Hardy, a math teacher at Thompson Valley High School in Colorado. After telling me how smart I am and how great these videos are, she went on to talk about her efforts to get her 80 high school students excited about math and science. We gotta help people like Monica out here. We have to inspire kids to get excited about the wonderful world of engineering that awaits them if they'll just apply themselves for a few more years. No, it's not easy. Yes, there will be some casualties as the weaker amongst them choose to quit and become lawyers or accountants or marketers, but we've got to help. Do you know who's to blame for all this? I think it's our every child gets a trophy system of raising kids these days. Way to go, little Billy. You picked your nose and played in the outfield all season. Here's a trophy. That's all I ever did, and did I get a trophy? Heck no. Back then, I got beat up for throwing the ball like a sissy, if I ever did look up from picking my nose. In those days, it was the bullies that got all the trophies, what with their mutant genes and all. And you know what they did when they weren't playing sports? They were beating up kids like me. And what was our response? To go hide in the math and science classes where their thick meatheads would never think to go. Yes, as much as I hate to admit it, I owe Robert Johnson and his band of thugs a lot of thanks for inspiring me to be an engineer. And I think about it every time I go get a blizzard from the Dairy Queen where he now works. Ah, the sweet taste of ice cream, butterfinger, and justice. So what can you do about this crisis? If you're technically inclined, or know someone who is, visit this website to see how you can help young engineers of tomorrow develop their analytic skills by building robots. Go here if you're a teacher and want to find ways to connect your students with technical content. If you have a K-12 child, point them to this U.S. Robotics competition to help motivate them to become the technical leaders of tomorrow. And finally, if you have a child that isn't all that bright, it's not their fault. It's probably yours. Help your child pick up things like athleticism, sarcasm, or switchblade skills and turn them loose on the nerds at school. Those blithers aren't going to make themselves.